we're going to dive right in and we're going to talk today about Qualcomm and Vodafone and 5G Open RAN. And with that, Ron, take it away. Let's hear what's on your mind with regard to that today. Yeah, I think we had a very interesting announcement come out. Yeah. And that is uh, Qualcomm and Vodafone uh, re igniting uh, their collaboration. It's uh, been established uh, for over a year. Yep. And fundamentally, they're looking to uh, drive Open RAN across a broader uh, swath of uh, the ecosystem. So that part isn't you know, surprising, but I think what's important here is that both of them are providing a level set. You know, what is realistic in terms of Open RAN expectations now mm -hmm. that we've gone through this hype cycle and Open RAN hasn't quite made the inroads that many expected, uh, say just uh, over a year ago. And I think uh, what's important here is that uh, both players are pointing to, this is something that is going to be a journey. It's something that's going to require, you know, a, a great deal of uh, work in terms of, you know, getting everything synced up. And, but I think that the uh, partnership is pointing to is the fact that by using Qualcomm's uh, X100 5G RAN accelerator card, in combination with its QRU uh, 100 5G RAN platform, that operators can really punch through and get the power consumption efficiencies that they are prioritizing. And we know why this is important. It helps them meet their sustainability goals, right. helps the environment, you know, uh, and all these you know uh, strategic reasons. Plus, that ties in directly to boosting total uh, cost of ownership. Uh, benefits and right. we know that's always important but now it's like open ran is t more tangibly being tied into that yeah. and so this is I, I think providing an impetus that also is aligned with other things that need to really be in play and that is uh, the massive mimo technology needs to be in place and actually they're using qualcomm 64t 64r and 32r 32 uh, T technology, or I should say 32T, 32R, with the T uh, standing for transmit and R standing for receive. Right. And why that technology is important is because that's going to be essential for delivering uh, 5G open RAN capability, uh, capabilities to dense urban areas. And, and so that's really where we're going to see, I believe, uh, many of the open RAN use cases gaining more traction to give it you know, more market validity. And uh, what I think is interesting is that Vodafone is sticking to its guns. Uh, they're planning to use Open RAN in up to 30% of yeah. its mass across Europe. That's a so lot. Be, That's significant. Uh, yeah, no doubt. And mm -hmm. and I think uh, this is, uh, to be clear, a European-centric initiative. Right. Uh, and I think, though, it will definitely be applicable to other regions once uh, this is you know, proven out more. Uh, you know, for the simple reason that Vodafone is truly, you know, a multi-regional operator for one. Right. But, you know, lessons learned, you know, that Qualcomm and other partners can apply to other uh, open RAN initiatives. And that Absolutely. includes, for example, the fact that Qualcomm is working uh, with Rackets and Symphony. It's working with Viettel in Vietnam. Uh, it's working with uh, Fujitsu and also Mavenir. So this is really uh, clearly an ecosystem play, and it really requires all these players to be able to, you know, get the initiative uh, more on track uh, to gain, you know, the, the significant uh, takeaways that uh, will enable the operators to, you know, simply uh, push uh, Operan forward as part of an overall, you know, 5G uh, play. Yeah, and I think, you know, uh, I saw that it was April of 2021, which yes. is when um, when the companies Qualcomm and Vodafone made a commitment to develop technical blueprints that could be used um, across the industry. And I think that that's really an important part of what we're talking about here. This ecosystem and its success here is really, I believe, contingent upon and, and really powered by strategic alliances like this and understanding that much like any digital transformation initiative, this is a journey. It's not a, you know, we're going to check all these boxes and be done. And uh, so, it, so it is great to see sort of a revisiting of that and the, the commitment, even though this is admittedly not a quick process, not a speedy journey, but it is great to see Qualcomm and, and Vodafone's commitment here um, to move this forward. Yeah, in fact, they define success that a Vodafone will have uh, commercial deployments by the end of 2023. Yeah. 
Yeah. So this is going to be uh, certainly yeah. a significant uh, milestone. Absolutely. And definitely that's going to be essential if they really want to walk away and say, OK, this is, uh, you know, resulted in a successful collaboration. Absolutely. Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense.